здесь. This one's dripping. We are in the orchard. Uh, it's time to hook up the trees to a dripper. Um, we have the, the wine barrel on top here and we want to make a couple of runs of uh, drippers and um, therefore are able to automate this uh, watering for the summer. Um, we used to have a nice uh, way to measure everything but the whole thing disintegrated, so we still have the, the business end, but it's not as handy anymore. And uh, we're gonna use it though, because we don't have anything else and I can't find the other ruler. Um, and then after this, we'll replace this one with a, a better one. Let's go. It's going to be an amazing day today. Uh, it's time to unpack and hook up the irrigation system for our orchard. And I also bought some stuff for the garden, but that's later. First focus on the orchard. Uh, because I uh, yeah, don't wanna do it with the watering cans anymore. Uh, we put a system in place where we dug a tiny holes, cups, bowls around the trees. So you can just empty a watering can and it would soak in. But you still have to haul the watering can all over the place, which isn't ideal. Uh, so now I'm just gonna hook up some drippers and see if they work. And uh, of course, it's not the perfect orchard. Uh, there are some roads to be crossed and stuff like that. So it's, it's uh, yeah, we're gonna figure it out how it works. Went to Rega Centro again, of course, and uh, got this whole box of connectors and uh, uh, 150 meter of hose in different sizes uh, because we need that uh, to afford to work. Um, so let's go. <coughs> All right, the plan. Uh, the orchard behind me has a bit of a slope that goes down towards the garden. Um, so I don't know whether it's smart to run it like this, like a, a big uh, S uh, snake type thing. Uh, but what we're going to do is something different. We're going to run uh, an inch hose on the top of the, the terrace and then make different runs down that will go to all the trees and water them. Um, this is what I came up with. Uh, yeah, I hope it works.
Okay. Uh, ja, we kunnen daar zo dan een dop op doen voor een uiteinde. Een endstap. The idea, or what I've been told, is that I have to clamp this around this one. And then after it's uh, in there, I uh, can drill a hole in the middle. So that's the order of things. scary part. <laughs> may need some uh, Teflon. Teflon. Uh, we'll see. Uh, it's many hours later and we battled the drip line. Yeah, that's much worse than even the bigger uh, lines because it's uh, quite flexible but also uh, prone to uh, uh, kinking. That's probably the word. Um, it's not the most beautiful system, but it will probably work and that's where we're gonna find out. We haven't tested this before. Yeah. We filled up this a little bit with some water uh, from the well and uh, yeah, I think the only thing is to open up the tap. But we'll see. Moment of truth. A bit anticlimactic, of course, because we'll have to check each tree. This one's dripping. Yep. These open. Yeah. This one a bit. Yeah. This one. That's all the air. <laughs> it works. 
uh, it gets everywhere. There's a little bit of an air gap issue here, but that will sort itself out, I think, I hope. And then we'll have to fine tune each tree, see how much uh, they need. So it might be that we have to open these up further and close those off a bit. Um, yeah. And I think one step we'll take as well is pin the line down. Yeah. But this is already great. Yeah. This'll do. No more watering cans. So I dug a trench, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's done. The main reason was that I want to be able to drive over it uh, like I, I'm used to. And over there I like to park sometimes, so I also want to be able to drive over that without squishing the hose. Um, now, after digging with an underpowered digger, because the gas the gas uh, wire broke, it's like a bicycle uh, brake wire, um, it broke off so uh, yeah I had to fiddle around with it before it was back into the roof um, and uh, now I have to use the, uh, the pickaxe to clear out the path for the pipe to lay in um, without any sharp edges and then we'll fill it up with water and uh, push all the, the earth back over it and uh, hopefully that will prevent the hose from caving in. Um, that's it.
Uh, next job is the garden. Uh, we want some irrigation here as well. And uh, we opted for a hybrid of uh, hoses and channels. Um, so we'll have like a main hose running towards all the beds and then uh, T joints, connectors with uh, uh, separate taps for each branch. Uh, hopefully we can regulate the flow a bit with the, the several uh, uh, taps that we put on it. Um, and uh, yeah, um, it solidifies the garden because now we have to build it around the, uh, the irrigation system that we have. Always Teflon. More Teflon. Yeah. Nou, valt hartstikke mee. Ja, dat is mooi. Later on we'll add some teas here to add these to the system, but I don't have enough. So we do them all at once. Um, so in the meantime, I'll just put this thing on the end of the hose. So we can pressurize the system. All right, let's see. He's playing dead. Uh, time for a leak check. Um, so we're opening. Uh, we'll open up the uh, the tap and see where it leaks. Uh, if it's in the correct spaces and places, we're just fine with it, and otherwise, uh, just some extra tightening. Yeah? Hmm. Oh, 
Ja, lijkt daar. Ja, zie je? We hebben gelijk al de eerste spot. Gaan we hier even kijken. We gaan er in het meer zetten. Nu zit ik nergens lekker. Ik. En de laatste. Ja, die is dicht. Ja, die is echt dicht. En this one's good. Ja, yeah, so only the first one is leaky. It will take 10 minutes to do this. So, this one is almost full. So, after this uh, initial first test, uh, we can conclude that there is enough flow. And uh, we had a massive bottleneck with the, the sprayer or the, the, the normal garden hose. Um, yeah, next thing is that we have a different length of uh, beds. So uh, that's why we put the taps on it, so you can, uh, yeah, manage the flow uh, of each bed. And um, we know the last one is the longest, so we'll just s keep that fully opened. And then the next time we water, we check again how long it will take for this bed to, to fill up. And then adjust these some more, just until it's not so uh, different anymore it doesn't matter that it's a little bit of an overlap but yeah um so that's it very good yeah happy i'm happy Bo happy Bo is not so happy anymore no but okay yeah.